Hello and welcome back to another episode of Late Night Games. I'm your host Paul, joined again by Dave. Hello! For another journey through the lands of feudal Japan in Shogun 2 Total War. Where we left off, the Ikoiki had been finished off, uh, not by our, at our hands. Uh, we had actually allowed them to become our vassal, so as they would stop harassing us, because we couldn't get to them easily. And everyone wants to trade with me suddenly. So, in the end, um, I'm making some decent money. I had a little bit of a crisis where there was some debt. I also now have a new daimyo. Date Mitsusu. 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 Right. I'm trading with everyone but the Ashikaga Shogunate, but I can't trade with them because they're landlocked in Kyoto. Um, just looking at my clan relationships to make sure that everybody's friendly. The Shimazu are indifferent. Hmm. Don't know what I could do about that. But I'll leave it for now. I have the Shimazu as unfriendly, the Mori as indifferent, the Hattori as unfriendly, the Chosakabe as friendly, the Ashigaga as friendly. So even though I'm trading with some, like the Shimazu I'm trading with, but they're unfriendly. Hmm. Yeah, they're, they're indifferent to me. I think it's the religious differences that make the hugest uh, impact that way. Oh, they're Christian? Yeah. Very unfortunately, Christian. Goddamn Bible thumpers. And they're taking over a lot of the territory, too. Yeah. It's almost, uh, it would almost be worthwhile to... Start sending monks into their territory? Um, maybe not monks. Or, yeah, monks maybe incite some revolts on their side. Um, it might anger them into declaring war on us, but I think we should be all right. I think if we're going to anger anyone to war, we should try and anger the Hattori. Yes. Because they're right next to us. We need to get through them to get to Kyoto. We don't need to fight anyone else if we don't have to. Yes, except for if we need to get um, the other eight provinces that we need to win. But th things are looking up as far as the winning is concerned. Um we have half of Japan under our control. Yeah. Not yeah. half in numbers, but half in land mass. Yes. All right. Just looking. My Daimyo's army is looking nice. He's got uh, Katana cavalry, two bow cavalry. No Dachi Samurai, seven Katana Samurai, two uh, Yari Samurai, four uh, Bow Samurai, and two Bow Warrior Monks. Are the only Bow is, Cavalry really that good? They're effective in land battles because they can run away faster than most melee units can reach them. Fair and, enough. Uh, yep. And if you have the art mastered for Swooping Crane, which is next on my list, I believe, um, you can actually um, have them moving and firing at the same time. Oh, that's just badass. Yes. All right. Just going to establish a spy network in Awari. And establish a spy network in Mino. And I just realized I have no ninjas. I don't think you even have any sake dens. Noto is... Uh Starting to get negative because of this religious difference. Um, where is Noto? Noto I'm going to move that Noto. monk there next turn. It's probably an advisable thing to do. Sorry, that's uh, a Metsuke. Hmm.
Do I have a nearby monk? I have a monk overseeing that town, overseeing that town, overseeing that town. And the ones overseeing the towns can level up. Just watching my boats race through the water. Mounting unrest in Hida. Nanban trade declined. <laughs> Where is that monk? Agents. My suggestion would be to move the two units that are just outside of Hida into Hida, and that should fix the problem there. I am going to get my blind lady as my person. And I'm going to make you a pilgrim. Because you're far enough away from the religious zones that you can be. You are at negative two, so I'm going to move this army in. That's a lot of army I have to have there. That's rather disappointing. Um, you, I'm going to move my Metsuke in. I wonder if that'll make a difference. Yeah, that brought it to zero, but it's estimated by next turn to be negative one again. So I'll have to do something about that. Where's the rest of my agents? Monkey monks. You're good. You're good. You can still level up. So I'm going to... Give you the wise elder and an inspire and a pilgrim. There we go. And let's hope that that helps. I don't need to hit escape. Did you almost do it again? I did it again. <laughs> I'm going to recruit another monk. Oh, no. And I can't require a, I can't do another monk there. I'm going to do a ninja here. And also going to make a Buddhist temple here. I'm going to make a Sake Den here. And I'm going to make a Hmm, do I want to do a market? Does market make people happier? No. But it does bring in a lot of money. I'll do a market here in Kaga. Kaga hasn't had that many issues. It has a huge army in it. I'll do a market in Kaga. All right, and that, I believe, as they say, will be that. Yes. Um, my boats are still doing my boats are doing, so I'm going to quickly check my Master of the Arts. I'm still working towards traditional buildings, which is nice, but I'm going to switch to... Uh, Bushido, because I have a 72% increase in Bushido Mastery right now. So, I am going to go with... Do 
Do I want to do Way of the Sea? That engages night battles. Or I could do the five elements, 20% increase to general influence radius. Horse mastery. I'm going to do sword expertise. Oh, which to do that I first have to do way of the sword, which I haven't even done yet. Okay. Oh, that's cool. If you click on one, it show it'll do the prerequisites first. Yep. I had no idea. Since you're going towards sword expertise, I'm I going think, for uh, bow. Bow. Okay, bow jutsu. I can do bow. I can get Q jutsu mastery in 22 turns. Sword will take me 33. Yeah, I actually made the decision. I'm not going to go towards Bushido very much anymore, um, because I am 26 turns away from uh, Kaburu Kama, which is a legendary building that. Um, does a lot for um, income because as we start to declare war more and more on other clans we'll find that uh, the income has to come more from within instead of from trade or I will anyways um, it's true yeah the Mori let's see what the Chosokabe do they're fighting with the Mori as well mm-hmm Uh, Tori have taken one of Mori's provinces. All right. I've been given a mission to assassinate any character, and the reward is clandestine practices, which is plus 10% to the chance of ninja actions. Well, it's funny that you should mention that, because I was just en route to uh, see what I could do about the five-star general that the Hattori have. And the Iko Iki have rebelled in Echizen and become a clan again. What? Yeah, look at Echizen, west of Kaga. I didn't know they could do that. Hmm. And there's a daimyo and a son and heir already in that uh, particular castle. I'm actually after Wakasa. All right. I'm just going through my provinces and seeing what I can do to help uh, mitigate the frickin' aggression I'm seeing here. We're, having, we're both having a little bit of difficulty keeping the populace under control, I think. Mainly because we've taken over so many uh, eco-provinces. And until the religious zeal is uh, sorted out, it's making people rather pissy. Yeah, it is. Even Sato's getting a little pissy right now. Um, you do have your tax at the higher level. Um, might be advisable. I've got it in the middle. It at normal? Oh, wow. Yeah. If I pump it up, um, everyone goes red. Oh. But my income jumps up to 5k a turn. Yeah. I'm sitting at just under 5k right now. Right now I'm at 3.5k. If I drop it to low, it gets rid of all the issues I have right now. But you've also got minus income, haven't you? No, it drops it down to 18.91 a turn. Oh. Huh. Which isn't bad, and I might do that for a couple of turns. L wait, hang on. Let me go to the people who aren't happy, just exempt them, and see if that is less of an effect. So 18.91 is if I don't exempt anyone but reduce everything to low. And if I just exempt the three low ones, it's 2160. 
So I'm going to do that. I'm going to temporarily exempt the uh, four provinces that are having issues. Or the three provinces having issues. Um, Sado shouldn't be an issue very much longer because the religious uh, substance of the eco iki remaining is 7%. Oh. Um, Nato is having a bit of a more difficult time. It's still at 83%, but it's got, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, the sake den that's about to appear. Ah. Echu, or sorry, um, Hida has a market that I just built. That doesn't help. But it does have culture about to increase it, apparently. Culture is zero, but it's predicted to be two. Uh, the Hattori seemed a lot more formidable before. Um, I had a look at some of their territories. If you can see, I've just walked into their territory and kind of given a scouting idea. And they don't really have that much except for that one big army that they have wandering I, around. I think what will happen is they'll attack Echizen and probably win that battle. Um, because Echizen has two generals and a large number of Ashigaru, and that's pretty much it. Um, so they'll lose a little bit there, and that'll weaken them enough for you to take them from Kaga, I think. I think Echizen was their big No, their army. big army is sitting in Wakasa. At any rate, I'll end my turn there. Just watch my boats move around. And what I'm hoping for is that um, the Mori will die out um, just because they have a trading port with um, cotton that I'd be able to take from them quite easily in the far northwest of the map. And that would mean between me and Paul we hold all the major um, foreign trade ports. I'm going to move my ninja around in my territories. Oh, you do have ninja. Yeah, I, I just built some last oh, turn okay. when I realized I didn't have any. I think you had one earlier on in the playthrough, but... Um... And it got killed. Yeah, it's not that I've never had ninja this whole round. It's I didn't realize that all my ninja were dead. Yeah. And I will take this monk. I said I will take this monk. And I will move him to Noto, because that's going to need the most monking. And... Let me just jump through all my monks. You're in a town. You're in a, t you're in a town, but does the town need you? It's got four to happiness, but that's because of him. You're in a town with, again, one happiness, so you're staying put. Alright, that's it for uh, my monks. There's my list of provinces. Nothing major there. My fleets. How do I have so many fleets? Oh, the trade ship fleets. I forgot that they counted as fleets. Where's my Damio? Still trucking along to the front lines. Uh, he has enough... Uh, colors left of his turn path to actually reach the front lines now. Well, that's good. <laughs> yep. So he'll be there in about, like, six turns. 
And I'm not really going to do much else of anything. Mainly I'm trying to get my, uh, the chaos of my religion under control. We'll settle our religious differences by me forcing you to convert. I'm hoping that Chosokabe will take some of the Mori territory, because they're a little bit more powerful. They'll be able to hold the uh, Shimazu back, mm -hmm. because the Shimazu are advancing, and they'll be quite the force to be reckoned with if they can get close enough to Kyoto. All right. Back to your turn, Dave. I found an enemy ninja, and I'm going to arrest him with a 61% chance. Escape the grasp of our Metsuke. Where was he? He's in Tamba province, which is west of Kyoto, northwest of Kyoto. This one has a 65% chance of arresting him, so let's see how he goes. Put to death in his own province. Nice. Doesn't pay to be a ninja. Alright, let's see what else I can do. Looking for assassination targets. An army I could sabotage. The fact really that Ikoiki came back and is in my way is upsetting. I would agree with you there. Just going to sabotage the army for the experience. And it worked because he gained a level. Yay! Level up. Level, level, level. I'm going to see uh, where else I can hire agents. While waiting for my turn. You cannot recruit a Metsuke or a other one. Other one. A another nope. one. Nope. 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 Oh, wow. In Kaga, bow samurai start at rank 6. Be right now because of my samurai boost. I'm recruiting a few level 6 bow samurai, yes. That's pretty intense. Oh, that's because you paid the uh, archer, is that right? No, it's because I got the, um, what do you call it? Exceptional samurai. Because my samurai have been so active lately, I got the exceptional samurai bonus. Oh. Alright. So I just went through all my provinces and there is nowhere I can hire an agent currently. You can have one agent per building. So oh, if you have action. five temples, you can have up to five monks or five socket, and you can have up to five ninja. My brother just became of age now. And I have been offered a beautiful wife, plus one to command while defending on... on land. And I got the option of another general. I am not going to enlist him because I just got a, an extra general just now. My brother. 
and that is someone I can use then to finally become my final commissioner which is for development I'm also going to send him from wherever he is in my home to the front lines very good call and I just noticed Ugo can recruit a Metzke I think it was I was out of money that's why it was showing I couldn't recruit anyone ah uh -huh. which is completely different than what I thought so let's bounce through the rest I can hire another ninja or another Metzke or another ninja or a ninja or a monk I'll hire a monk because I need those more than anything right now or Metzke or a ninja or Metzke Metzke, ninja, Metzke, ninja Metzke. yeah I'm, I'm done with monks so oh, okay I'll hire a ninja in Noto because that's really close to the front lines and um doo -doo -doo. I am going to check on Sato province the eco is down to 5.4 percent And that will be that. So, ending turn. Well done. My boats are moving in. Doing the boaty boat boat. As are my soldiers walking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. Walking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. Man, Etchizen has quite the... Uh, Oh, Shimazu, you bastards. Sorry. Um, they just took that trading port you were waiting for, didn't they? Echizen can make um, two of the three best kinds of cavalry um, because there's a Bajitsu Master Dojo there. So when you take it, you'll be able to make Yari Cavalry and Bow Cavalry. Nice. Yeah. And if I upgrade the castle and put in a uh, Samurai Dojo... Then I'll be able to make all three cavalry. That's right. I am at peace with the Eco Iki, but they are no longer my vassal. Wait. Didn't realize you had a ninja in Wakasa. He just got there now. Did you just try to attack him? I just um, killed one of the Ikoiki's generals. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm trying to find, hopefully we'll be able to find the Hattori general. That was that the four is, star? Or five yeah, star? I think he was a five star. And hopefully kill him before he can cause us any damage. You'll need to get damn good at assassinating to kill a five-star general. Well, I do have a four-star ninja um, who's got a lot of bonuses in assassination, and because I completed my mission, I have an additional 10% of chances. All right. Doesn't seem to be ha much happening in Hattori. No, they just tend to be sitting pretty outside of Kyoto, but they have it surrounded. Yeah. All right. But we now have visual confirmation of the majesty that is the final battle of Kyoto.
Yes. Um, with some luck, the Eco Eki will attack you and Kaga for getting revenge for not protecting them while they were your vassal. And if that luck holds, um, and they attack you and Kaga, you'll have a free shot at Echizen. This is true. Or they'll move their units out to Wakasa and start expanding. Which would make them a problem again. Mm -hmm. So hopefully um, the Hattori are either able to put them down or they decide to go and attack you in Wakasa or Echizen. Or the one east of Echizen. Anyways... Yes, yes. I am going to increase the, uh... What do you got? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking I'm about. I'm going to build a... Uh, increase the Buddhist temple to a monastery in Sato. So that my problems go away there. And then I can start charging them taxes again. Yeah, that would be a huge hit to your income if you're not taxing in Sato. Non-clan religion is currently negative one. It's predicted to be zero. Oh, that's good. Yep. And growth next season is plus 12. It's one of the few places that are actually growing. I'm just going through my provinces now. There's a little up arrow in the kind of tool tip when you hover over a city mm -hmm. or a down arrow if they're not yeah looking and I seem to I, I'm seeing most of yours are in growth um all of them are in growth nice so that's definitely a good thing damn my navies have been suffering heavy attrition I'm going to uh Zip back to this coastal port right here and repair. They can't repair because uh, it's not a good enough port. Oh well, they're going to stop there then until... Uh... Like, why the hell are these guys cutting through the ocean? Freaking idiots. Idiots. Idiots they are. Idiots. I guess sometimes take the path of least resistance is taken too seriously. <laughs> well, that's not the path of least resistance. It's the path of quickest destruction. At least the guys on the south are being smart about their trip. Alrighty. And let me just uh, check my masteries. In six turns, I'll have horse mastery. Which increases the uh, movement range for armies on the campaign map and enables the building of war horse studs. Yes. Which means if you have um, war horses, which I horse do, horse breeders, horse breeders in one of your provinces, you can upgrade it to war horse studs. Oh, yeah, which increases gives a charge bonus to the um, war horses recruited or the cavalry recruited in that area. Oh, that's and it pretty also sexy. gives you more. Also gives you more war horses as well. Everyone's meandering about, doing their walking thing. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Just like to take this time out to thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. It's a bit of a dry episode. Peacetime among the Date Tokugawa clan. Um, clan alliance, I should say. Um, hopefully, maybe by the end of this episode, possibly in the next episode, we should have some epic or overkill battles, or both, um, to show you. So we'll have to see how that goes. 
Let's see what the Eco Eki does right now. This could change everything. Oh, uh, Tori. Oh, he arrested my uh, Metsuke. That was one of my good Metsuke, too. I saw that. The Eco Eki did nothing. That's unfortunate. They did absolutely bubkiss. It seems he was able to imprison one of my Metsuke, but he wasn't able to um, arrest him. Mm. Well, that's what imprisoning it is. You mean he wasn't able to try and execute him? That's right. He arrested him, but he didn't, yeah. <laughs> he was able to imprison him, but didn't arrest him. He just got him to walk into jail by himself without doing anything. He was that good. He's been arrested, but off. there's been no code 949. <laughs> It's like and, the guy uh, who showed up at the jail cell and just turned himself in. Pretty much. Didn't even go to court, nothing. Just went to jail. Go to jail. To, he landed on the go-to-jail space. That must have been what happened. Now that Metsuke who arrested me, where did he go? I need to find him. So you can arrest him? Yes. There he is. He was hiding. I've got a 78% chance of apprehending him. That's a nice chance. And I put him to death. Ha! <laughs> Revenge. It's sweet and delicious. I also killed the daimyo of the Goiki, so now they're just a group of Ashigaru standing outside the castle. Um, so I think it would be pretty easy if you can leave Kaga to take them out. They've currently got um, four Bo Ashigaru... And 11 Spear Ashigaru, or Yari Ashigaru. Hmm. That would be a tough battle. But it would be worth it. Look at the castle in Ichizen. It's quite the castle, I would agree. Let me see what Kaga's like right now. Kaga's got a happiness of seven. And my army is much more than that. It would be 15 repression. So you could only take out eight without um, damaging. Although I could exempt them from tax for a bit. Also, castle repression is predicted to go up by one. So I'll be able to actually take out nine at that point. Yeah. And since uh, this castle here in Noto is doing okay, now that I've exempted them from province tax, I'll probably have this monk that's en route for their instead head. There. Yes. Yes, exactly. From there to there. Yeah, so I'm just watching my troops move around. Or move towards the front lines, I should say. By throwing a monk into Kaga, that will uh, decrease the need for leaving troops behind by four. Just so that you're aware, in Echizen, there's only 6.2% of the population that are Buddhist. Echizen? So be an, Echizen being um, the province that you're going after. So it'll be rough. Yeah. Okay. So, who do I want to take with me? I now have plus 8 happiness, but I just had a monk minister. Maybe that's the maximum? No, it can be up to, I think, 25. Weird. 
Mm-hmm. Oh well, I'm gonna pull my two generals, but I'm gonna leave my cavalry behind. I'm gonna pull my samurai. And my bows. It's now at negative one. I'm going so, to take the bow samurai and the nag nada that I have here. Throw them in. Bring it back to plus one. Bring you two bow warrior monks and the samurai here. And now... Will I have enough? Nope. If I go now, I won't have enough range to reach him this turn. So I'm going to wait until next turn to move in. Good call. Um, since my ninja's sitting right there, I may decide to um, sabotage them for you on my turn as well. Okay. Just that would be give very you a little helpful. bit of leverage. I'm also going to have this Metsuke oversee Kaga. And you minister to Hida. I'm going to no longer exempt Hida because I've got someone ministering there, so it's no longer at risk. I'm also no longer going to tax exempt Noto. Ah, uh, the joys of micromanaging a wartime economy. And no longer exempt Sato. There we go. And that is me now making money in all my provinces again. And if I check the finance tab, they are all green. Oh, that was a bit of a rocky patch there. Let's uh, also, while I'm here... Upgrade to a harbor in Nato, so or Noto, so I can finally start repairing those boats. Let my units do their wandering around that they're doing. Soon my generals will be on the front line again. My Damio and his brother, who are slowly walking across all of Japan. Sounds like you've got a knock at the door. Yeah, but my wife is home now. I apologize for those of you who are listening in. Uh, my dog is barking in the background. <laughs> Someone came a-rapping, a rap a rap a tapping tapping at your house's door. A-tapping at my chamber door. It's not your chamber. You're safely no. in your chamber, away from the house. Yeah. I'm just going to um, close the door to... Dave, you muted yourself. Sorry about that. I've returned. Um, I just had to close the door because there's a, quite a clamor of family entering the house. We heard. We also heard you mute yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Mid-sentence. All right, um, so my farm constructions have completed. I now have 17 food. Holy crap. You're going to have like some growth. I, I spent my entire turn, or my entire... Um, fortune. Fortune. Just building farms. I think I had like over 50,000, and then uh, I had about 1,000 left when I was done. <laughs> and I've got... Time of plenty. Having ensured the majesty of our province are agriculturally developed, we are now enjoying a time of plenty. Plus 25% wealth generated by farms across all provinces. That's pretty good. Can't say I mind that at all. Alright. Now that I'm in the position to, I'm going to start upgrading a couple of castles. Mm-hmm. Um, on your I front do have lines, a... especially. 
especially on my front lines, yep. Um, which are just those two provinces there. And um, upgrading castles in places that will be beneficial to me. Places where having more buildings to take advantage of a specific upgraded resource. Yep. Yep. When I do attack Echizen, which will probably be on our next episode, um, I'm going to uh, attack them in the field. So yeah, that way they don't they... have all the retainers of the castle in the first battle. Yep. Um, I hope they don't actually retreat into the castle, though. And it looks like they've um, promoted a new daimyo. So I'm just going to assassinate him. <laughs> oh, but my ninja was caught and executed. Oh, a... no, Dave, I'm sorry. That's okay. I can live with that. I'll get vengeance for you. Vengeance. 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 You do have a ninja sitting in Wakasa that you might want to... Yeah, I'm going to bring him back and assassinate with him. Hence the vengeance. That would be the vengeance I was speaking of. Great vengeance. Vengeance! But do we want to end it here at the end of your turn, do you think? Uh, yes, I do believe that would be a good idea. How's our time looking? Um, I think we're about there. Okay. Again, sorry about the dry episode, no battles, lots of micromanagement on Paul's and my part. Um, hope you enjoyed watching, though. Since normally I don't deal with finances to quite such a granular level, you finally got the chance to actually see the micromanagement that Dave normally dealt with. Uh, being as I tended not to have much money to micromanage with for most of the game. Mm -hmm. Your prosperity is spectacular. Your power yes. is terrifying. I don't think uh, many people want to mess with the Tokugawa. Little do the Hattori know they're about to uh, incur my wrath for no other reason than they're in my way. Because uh, you're Punchy McPuncherson. No one faces Punchy McPuncherson and walks away without being punched. Exactly. Or, you know, sorted, because I'm pretty sure he uses a sword. What is that sound? That's a weird I don't sound. Know. Maybe it's Skype saying we've been on call for too long. <laughs> it's a possibility. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for watching.